Hello. Um, I was diagnosed about 13 years ago with breast cancer. And so I've been a survivor for, seems like forever. <laughs> um, what I'd like to tell you about though is I have been volunteering with the American Cancer Society for Relay for Life for about 11 or 12 years now. And I've met so many people who've been affected by this disease. And I'd like to tell you a story about one young lady who was a friend of mine in South Carolina. She was first diagnosed with breast cancer when she was 28. It came back again when she was around 30 or 31, and she battled it again and was doing well. And then about three years later, it came back with a vengeance. It was in her brain, it was in her bones, it was in her liver. And they gave her less than a year. Well, because of research and because of the ongoing um, discoveries, she went on a lot longer. Um, the doctors couldn't believe after her first treatments how much the uh, tumors had shrunk, some had disappeared. And they said, we're not gonna put a deadline on you. We don't know, you're doing great. And she had to continue with a different type of chemo to take care of some of the tumors that weren't reduced. Not only does the treatment, the, not only does the disease take a toll on your body, but so does all the treatment, all the chemicals they have to pump into you. They're like poison almost. And it affected her bones, not only that because she had bone cancer, but also the medicine she take affected her bones that she had like the small fractures in her spine. And so she had surgery for that to repair some of those. So at least she was comfortable, could do things again. And she called me up and she said, Oh, I'm doing much better. I have been able to um, go for a bike ride with my family. She had two young boys that were in grade school. And they went out to this local state park and they went for a picnic and she was just like thrilled that she could go for a bike ride with her family. And it kind of hit me like there's so many things we take for granted that we don't really truly appreciate. And she was just so thrilled for that simple thing to do that one Sunday afternoon. It was probably about a year later she called and said, I'm giving up the treatments. They're not doing any good. They're just making me sicker. There's no hope. I've decided I'm going into hospice and I'm not gonna battle this anymore. And she died about three months later. But what I always remember of her was her spunk. And her, um, she was the only one she went to a new program that they had started in South Carolina, in Anderson, near where I lived, where they would help people rehabilitate from after going through all the chemo and the radiation and stuff. And they asked them to go around the track. They meant to walk around the track. She ran around the track. She just was had this uplifting spirit all the time. And so I always remember her and that bike ride she treasured show so and try to make my life and me appreciate the little things more. Whenever I see these lights, I see, yeah, a lot of sadness, and I think of people I've lost to cancer, but I also see a lot of hope. Because since I've been diagnosed, I've seen so many things, so many new treatments come, the survivor rates going up. We're not there yet, but we are making progress, so this is all really worth it. And I'm really glad to see you all here and participating because you are the ones who are making a difference in so many people's lives, and I want to thank you. Thank you, Bob, for sharing your story. We all appreciate you, and you are a true asset to our committee. Thank you for all you do for us and all of our survivors. Let's take a moment to reflect on those we are honoring. When people hear about cancer, they only think about sadness and grief. Cancer does not define our lives. It is so limited. Cancer cannot cripple love. It cannot shatter hope or corrode faith. It cannot destroy peace or friendship or suppress memories. Cancer cannot silence courage 
nor invade the soul. It cannot steal eternal life. Cancer cannot conquer the spirit. For those whose memory we honor tonight, this light represents the love we shared. It still burns for others to see, but it burns brightest in our hearts and in our souls. You were and will always be a part of us. Even though we cannot see you, we know you are with us. For those who are currently fighting the battle and for those who have won, we light these candles as our continued commitment to the fight. These lights glow in honor of all of you today. Right now, we're going to have a first lap with no music, and all lights are going to be out. And then we'll do a couple more laps after that. Over, t over 200 bags out there, over 200 reasons to fight this disease. So if everyone would take the track and walk a lap in silence, Look at those bags and know that there's a story behind each one of those and that there's a reason behind each one of those why we do what we're doing today and why we're fighting cancer. Thank you.
outside, it's like God let me die. Love the weather. Got the whole.